Welcome back to Green Bay Explorer. Today, I'm going to be talking about Chicken of the Woods. I had a storm come through a day ago and it soaked everything in my backyard and the following day, these mushrooms appeared. So I'm going to be uh, harvesting these and then cooking them up and seeing if I really can get that taste of chicken uh, versus just the typical taste of a mushroom. Let's start harvesting. My little basket here. Might come in. Chop that. And that was pretty firm, chopping this. It's pretty thick, pretty firm. This all looks really good. It's a little squishy there. And then this is more firm in the back. So we'll see. Some of this I might not cook all of it, but let's see. We can get a little bit more right here. Yeah, that chopped really easy. So I'm going to keep that right here. I'm going to do a little bit more right to the base. Chop. There we go. Then I have one more little section right here. This, this section is not as nice. It looks like maybe the animals or critters have gotten over to it. So we'll see if I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit so you can see. We'll come in close. There we go. And then I'll chop this one as well. There we go. And that little black spot, I don't want that, so I'll be removing that too. All right, let's get this into the kitchen. The first thing you want to do with your mushroom is always give it a good rinse and wash. You can see a lot of debris has collected onto the mushrooms. You don't want to get that into your food and your cooking. You can see like a little patch of grass just collected right here. So I'm going to try and get that out and clean these up really good. Now that I cleaned them up really good, I'm going to get them over to the stove and start cooking. Next thing I want to do is I just want to chop them up into little strips. So, And the whole thing is very firm, which I like, so everything's good about that. And I'll keep doing these for the rest of the mushrooms, and then we can jump on to the pan.
I just finished frying up my chicken of the woods and I'm just dying to try this. I only cho chose salt and pepper because I actually wanted to see what it truly tastes like. Um, see if I can actually get that chicken taste that everyone describes it as. So let's give it a try. Wow, with just salt and pepper, that is delicious. Mm, I'm still eating. But I, this is probably one of my new favorite things to keep an eye out for and cook. I'm definitely going into the wild and looking for more. I can describe it as, it almost tastes like a chicken tenderloin. It's, it's like I said, tender, um, good flavor, and uh, I don't know how else to describe it. Chicken is the best description for this. And if you're lucky enough to find some, enjoy. I just fried up chicken in the sea. Oh my gosh. I just fried up chicken of the woods. Let me show you how I got a hold of this. Testing to see if I like the view. That was absolutely perfect where you just did that. I just finished frying up my chicken of the woods. Here, no. 